All right, it's sick season. Everyone's getting sick. This will not leave me alone to share. So I just have to drop this real quick about fevers. Okay, so um, I knew that I was exposed to someone who got like super, super sick a couple weeks ago. And I was, or yeah, a week or two ago. And I was like, okay, I'm probably going to get sick. <laughs> okay. And so I was taking all my immune boosting stuff, doing everything I could. And sure enough, I was like, yep, here it comes. I could, you know, that feeling, right? It's like, I'm about to spiral. And sure enough, I just, I start getting a fever and I'm like, can't get out of bed and all this. And this is what I want to share with you guys. As somebody who loves the human body so much, I find it the most in interesting. It's like outer space or the deep sea exploring. Like the body is so freaking incredible and intelligent. As I'm sitting there with this fever, I'm like just kind of talking to my body, right? I'm like, what are you doing right now exactly? You know, like I got curious. Like I can't, I tried to watch a movie. I can't, I was like, I don't care about this. I'm sitting there watching YouTube videos about like the physiology of fevers while I'm sick. I'm better now. Thank you so much. But uh, this is what I want to tell you. Cause I, I went from can't even get out of my bed. Like it's too hard to get up and get water. Like that's just, I can't even force myself out of bed level of sick. That's how I was when this came in at that night. And as I was looking at the, the fever stuff, like, I mean, we've all heard, right? Like you could let a fever kind of do its job, but I like really want to share this with you guys. Cause I, I jumped into it. So basically in a nutshell, without getting like super nerdy, your immune cells, like when they detect that you have some sort of bacteria or viral invader, they release these chemicals that go up to your hypothalamus and you reset your body. That's so freaking incredible resets its set point of temperature to higher so that it can kill the virus or bacteria that got in you. The heat is like part of the healing process. It's literally ink because viruses and bacteria, they're, they're temperature sensitive. So I knew I had some sort of virus, right? And so I was like, why would I prevent my body from what it's super intelligently doing to get rid of this, to kill these pathogens inside of me? So I was like, I'm not going to take something unless I absolutely have to. I get it. Like, obviously we don't want to get it like 104, 105 and you start getting like brain damage or something. But I knew I wasn't at that point. So I took every immune, bo immune booster that I freaking had and I got a lot of supplements. I mean, it was vitamin C, vitamin D, glutathione, turmeric, fish oil, you know, my spirulina chlorella from energy bits, like water, electrolytes to enhance like my, uh, you know, um, electric system. So my immune system can work better, like everything. And then I just slept and slept, slept and just let the fever run its course. I woke up, I went from like, I can't even like operate. It was so hard to even go downstairs and take those things. You know, I had like four, I'm like, you got this, you got that. That's how sick I was. I woke up fine. Like I, w I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm like better. I mean, I had a little bit of sniffles. You can still hear my throat. My, my voice, you know, is still like a little bit of lingering, but I woke up like fine and it blew my freaking mind. And so it just keeps coming to me. It's like, just remind them, Tara, just throw it out there. Just remind them. Like, unless your fever is getting like super crazy, dangerous high, like as long as you can hang, hang, hang. Cause it's literally doing that to kill the thing that's making you sick. And then the, the way these fever reducers work is by blocking those pyrogens, those chemicals the, it's like prostaglandin E2 or something. I don't know. Some doctor can tell me, say better, but it, that chemical that's going up to your hypothalamus saying, increase the heat of this person's of my body so that he can kill all this stuff. You're like, no, don't let it block that chemical. So your hypothalamus is confused and doesn't know that it needs to be increasing your temperature so that you can kill this virus better. You're decreasing. You're like blocking the immune response. <laughs> so just a little reminder, you know, if you can hang with the fever a little bit, hang with the freaking fever. Yeah. The body knows what to do. It's like, why would it be doing that? Right. But we were raised in this like Western medicine, like psychology of like, Oh, as soon as the fever comes, like block it. And it's like, wait, why do you think it's doing that? Um, Carrie, thank you for sharing. I just had a fever for 12 hours, but it broke last night. Our bodies are so amazing. Yes. 
is doing that for a reason. Three of my kiddos had influenza last month and I let their fevers run. Good for you, Megan, because it's hard with kids, right? Because our little mom hearts are like, oh, I don't want them to be uncomfortable. But it's like, as long as it's not dangerous levels, it's like it's helping them get better faster. They were down for about 24 hours, but when their fevers broke, they were so much better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so just a little reminder. Our bodies are doing that for a reason. They're literally trying to kill through heat. It's so freaking intelligent. The immune response is like, wow. <laughs> so freaking intelligent is trying to help you kill the thing that's making you sick. And we're like, no, can't kill it. And then I'll just kind of end this with... um. I do really love for, for supporting the immune response, vitamin D, vitamin C, glutathione, turmeric, fish oil. But you know how you guys know, I don't know if all of y'all know, but I do this little like, what do you need body? And I was just hearing so much fish oil, like so much, like let it rain. <laughs> fish oil. So I was like, okay, I'll entertain it. So I was doing a lot of fish oil as well. Um, and you know, I really like energy bits, spirulina and chlorella. I was doing a lot of that in my Redmond Relight high electro higher sodium electrolytes. Cause like electrolytes, minerals that interact with water and create an electric charge, that's your electric system. So everything in your body works better when you have more electrolytes, you know, when you have adequate electrolytes. So what I have found is like, holy crap, people are so, people are drinking water. If you're one of those people that's drinking water all the time and you just feel like you need so much water, you're drinking like two gallons of water a day and you're like still thirsty, I, my message for you is you are depleted in minerals. You should not be requiring two gallons of water a day and you're still thirsty. What happens is you di you flush your kidneys, you dilute your mineral balance and your body's like, I need more minerals. But our water and our food are so low in minerals now that that's why that's happening. So really recommend Redmond Relay. I do have a coupon with them. I'm not trying to like make money off y'all, but I have, you know, these agreements that yes, I get a small cut from that, but it's like <laughs> not a major part of my income, but you guys can get 15% off with Redman with um, Coach Chera, but like, shit, I love that stuff. Also, little random side note on this, my son was getting a bunch of migraines. He's 15, and I was like, what is going on with him? And I talked to Gary Brecca. I don't know if you guys know Gary Brecca. He's freaking amazing. Um, he's on here, naturopathic doctor extraordinaire, and I asked him about it, and he was like, it's uh, every time I've run into migraines, they're low in sodium. And so he has this thing called a salt chalet that he does. But I just had my son start drinking Redmond Relight. He drinks it every night. He has not had a single migraine. He was going from like three migraines a week to none. He has, I was like, have you had any since you started doing Red Relight at night? He's like, no. I was like, mm. And I have a genetic mutation, a slow calm T that causes me to hold on to adrenaline for about 40% longer. So if you happen to know that about yourself and you have a slow calm T, you probably need more salt and like obviously have to have water with that than most people because when you're high adrenaline, when you hold on to adrenaline for longer, you will um, excrete minerals faster. You'll go through sodium faster. Adrenaline is like diuretic. So it's a huge part of my life. It's been very impacting. So just a little random nerdy side note about that. But yeah, if you get sick, let your fever run its course for as long as you can hang unless as long as it's not dangerous levels because your body is just trying to like and doing it for a reason. It's trying to kill the viruses that are in you. Um, apple cider vinegar gummies. I don't personally use those, but they're good. You know, um, if you are prone to digestive issues, you know, those can be really helpful, but I, I, that's just not something that I use, but not saying it's not helpful. All right. That's all. I'm going to go kick some ass now in the gym because I'm better <laughs> because I, uh, allowed my body to do its thing and supported my body in doing its thing. And it's like that when you're sick, like try not to block your body from doing what it's trying to do to help you support your body and, 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 and support your immune response instead of blocking it. <laughs> All right. Bye.